What's up, everyone? Happy Thursday. We're sitting here on the lake, on the beach, taking it in. Sun came out. I am totally late today because I've been on back-to-back -back phone calls from my mobile office. Literally been sitting here for almost two hours, making phone calls, receiving phone calls, doing business. Kind of cool. But uh, every time I went to go live, the phone would ring again, and that's a good thing. So. Uh, I gotta get you a message today before it gets too late. Uh, started out this morning, it was a little chilly. Now it's beautiful. It's probably, I don't know, 40s, sunny. The sun's cranking off the water here. And uh, I get you a message of the day. So, this morning I was scrolling through Facebook and uh, my buddy Sammy Knight had a great post. Uh, basically talking about um, when you got conflict, uh, you escalate the conflict, you de-escalate the conflict. I thought it was uh, pretty good to talk about. Um, you know, I say fire starts fire all the time, and that could be a bad thing. Um, if someone comes at you hot, whether it be a relationship in business, possibly a relationship with a spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, wife, husband, if someone's hot and they're coming at you hot and you basically match their fire with fire, you wind up burning everything down. You wind up saying things you don't mean. You wind up not being level-headed you wind up not thinking things through and you wind up regretting possibly stuff you've said or stuff you've done so rather than uh when someone comes at you hot rather than responding with heat you need to cool it down you need to stay level-headed you need to stay calm uh, sometimes that requires walking away um, sometimes that requires letting them just say their piece until they're exhausted um, but when you react when you meet fire with fire, uh, it basically just becomes an inferno. So in a good way, we say fire starts fire. If we're doing something good, uh, we meet it in an inspiration wise. Um, by me riding my bike every morning with 283 days, I think it was today. Uh, there's a lot of people that are out there doing things, going to the gym, walking, riding, running, because uh, they were inspired by my fire. And that's awesome. And that's why I do this. Um, I hold myself accountable in the process, but no one out of inspiring other people to make their lives better is a whole reason to keep going. Every cold morning when I was numb and I didn't want to go out, um, I knew that people were following me and counting on me to inspire them. Uh, I also know that the sun always comes out. The sun always comes out again. So no matter how cold it is, at some point it gets warm again. At some point the sun comes out again. And we just got to keep going. So uh, back to uh, meeting people with fire. So in a work relationship, in a, in a family relationship, um, we need to learn to de-escalate. So rather than uh, meet that fire, we need to calm it down. One of the techniques I talked about um, in the past, I've been on job sites and I'll have a supervisor on a job site come in and he's screaming at me. You know, your guy did this, your guy didn't do this, da -da 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 -da, screaming, I got deadlines, I got this, I got that. And ranting and raving this and that and you know immediate response is hey f you buddy like this isn't my problem but we let them breathe so one of my favorite things I've I started doing years ago is when they're screaming and yelling I go are you done and they look at you like what do you mean am I done I said are you done said, what do you mean are you done ranting and raving because get yeah you get out of your system I know you're fired up get that fire out and then let's sit down and let's talk about how we can fix this and it usually works. Usually it basically lets them catch themselves and realize that they're out of control. And let's just talk about this like, like gentlemen and like humans. And let's figure out a solution. Um, marriage. Uh, I know most of us have been there. We've probably done something stupid that our wife or husband wasn't happy with. And they come at you with fire. And your immediate reaction is to bring fire back. And that's where we say things we don't mean. That's where we basically break trust that's where we break relationships and we should never get to that point where we're out of control where we're totally on fire because that's where stuff gets burned down I'm guilty of that in my past um, my wife has done uh, I wouldn't say I've done stupid things my wife has come at me with fire and I've met that fire and I've uh, reacted in ways that I not proud of and reacted in ways that um, you know she deserved better and um, because I met fire with fire said things I didn't mean out of the heat of the moment, not thinking clear. And we need to stop and realize how important it is to stay level-headed. 
to say what we really feel and what we mean and not be fired and not try and burn things down and not let our crazy heat get the best of us. So there's your words of wisdom for today. There's your message. Stay in control. De-escalate. Don't escalate. Don't meet fire with fire. Meet fire with water. Cool it down. Get level-headed. Get to a point where you can have an honest and open conversation and come up with solutions rather than throwing fire, throwing gas on the fire. All right, so there's your message. Thank you, Sammy Knight, for bringing that out today. Great, great message. All right, let's jump on prayers here in the name of the Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, help us to keep our cool. Help us to stay level-headed. Help us to not uh, meet fire with fire. Help us to uh, calm situations, and help us to uh, be the calming, loving force in the world. Um, help us to be the best versions of ourselves and to never lose our cool. Amen. All right, everyone. So it's a beautiful sunshine day. It's Thursday. Weekend's coming up. Get out there and enjoy the sunshine. I know for me, sunshine's my drug. Days like these are what I live for. Um, look at this. It doesn't get any better than this. Sitting on the beach at the lake, sun is shining and making phone calls, getting new leads. I got a lead on a listing in Oceanside. I got a lead on a listing in Elmo. I got a lead on a buyer in Malvern. This has all been happening in the last uh, couple hours. So uh, it's a good day. Sun comes out, guns come out. We get stuff done. All right, so everyone have a great day. Appreciate you all. Put your head on a pillow every night, knowing you made the world a better place. Fire starts fire. Let's go. Be a force of goodness in the world. It starts with us. God bless.